Welcome back, LHS. I'm Ayana Lanise. And I'm Eli Hodge. Today is Tuesday, December 14th. We have club information, sports updates, and more. This is your Blue Devil News. Seniors, your senior fee is $75 and is due by March 1st. You can pay at the bank or online. If this is your first time using the school cash online, you will have to register before you use the app. You can also submit your height, weight, and the correct spelling of your first, middle, and last name by scanning this QR code or going to the link below. Today is the last day the book club is selling candy canes for $1. You can add a personalized message for $0.50. Cents. You can buy them from a book club member or go to room B101. Student Council will have basketball homecoming elections in the Commons during lunch on Thursday. Be sure to vote for your homecoming court. We are excited to say the spring musical is Mamma Mia. Audition songs and materials will be available outside the auditorium on December 15th. Auditions for the shows are after we return from winter break, January 6th and 7th. If, if, you, if you have any questions regarding auditions, see Ms. Moran in A702 or Ms. Fitzgerald in A704. Yearbooks and senior ads are now on sale. Yearbooks can be purchased at yearbookforever.com or the LHS website. However, senior ads can only be purchased at yearbookforever.com. Senior ads are due by this Friday. Senior ads are one of the most personal parts of the souvenir. This is an awesome opportunity for family and friends to send a personal and lasting message to their graduates. The ads are unique and will include pictures and messages that you can choose. Let's take a look at a few examples. There's an, only a limited number of pages this year for senior ads. Ad orders must be placed by this Friday, so make sure to place your order now. Use the QR code outside of room A303. Your book prices will increase in January. We'll be right back after these segments. Just like to take this opportunity to congratulate Allie Dickerson uh, on her signing with Johnson University. Uh, they're getting a great player, uh, hard worker, um, and not only that, but she's just a great student and an even better person. And so, uh, a lot of hard work has happened over the uh, Allie's lifespan to get to this point, and from her parents taking her to lessons to travel ball tournaments to all the practices and hours of hard work that she's put into it and so uh, just like to congratulate her and I know she's gonna uh, be not only a great player for them but be great for their uh, campus and university and so looking forward to having the opportunity to coach her one more year here as we get ready for our spring season uh, and looking for that to take off here.
guitar And then away went Rudolph Whizzing like a shooting star Run, run, Rudolph Santa Lynch will make it in town Santa make him hurry Tell him he can take the freeway down Run, run, Rudolph Reeling like a merry basketball hit the road Friday night to take on a longtime rival in Gallatin. The boys won 70 to 58 <clears throat> with Jerry Hall scoring an incredible 32 points with six dunks. What? You want to see? Sure. Let's roll the clip. I got my own fight on these security in the club. All they wolfing on the net. I thought you was a thug. I ain't got nowhere to go. I shot up everywhere they was. Yeah, you know who took this Jared Hall scored 32 points and 10 rebounds. Corey Jones scored 13 points and Yarn Alexander with 10 points and 9 rebounds. The Devilettes started the game off hot, hitting three pointers in the first quarter. The girls also applied heavy defense with a full court press that led steals from seniors Asia Barr and Nalea Rankins. They went into halftime leading 37 to 24 and were able to knock in nine more points in the fourth quarter to steal the victory. Congratulations to point guard Finley Tomlin with 23 points, guard Asia Barr with 14 points, and forward Nalea Rankins with 14 points. We're pretty good. The boys' bowling team's next match is today at 3.30 in Hendersonville against new rivals Green Hill. After winning today, they will advance to district championships on Thursday. Good luck. Congratulations to the girls for winning the district championship against those cranky Wildcats last week. They will play regionals after winter break. That's all the news we have, LHS. I'm Ayanna Lanise. And I'm Eli Hodge. This, this has been the news to you from the white and blue.